Welcome back to the Better Than Yesterday podcast, where we focus on information, motivation, and realness. Uh, it is Thursday, March the 12th, 2020th, episode 145. First topic, take better care of yourself, especially physically. I feel, my theory, a lot of people are sick a lot, uh, even before the coronavirus. A lot of people are constantly sick. They catch them flu real quick, common cold, this and that. I just think people are doing a terrible job of taking care of themselves physically. Um, I'm I'm not one to sit here and judge and act like I don't uh, indulge with, in bad food. But for the most part, throughout the week, especially on the weekdays, I like to keep myself focused in on uh, making sure my diet is legit. Um, eating clean, water. Water is important. Uh, I supplement, uh, like I said, eating clean vegetables. Uh, I, I need to work on my fruits, but I've never been a fruit person. That's why I take supplements, things like that. So I just like pay attention to what I'm eating, how, you know, how I'm consuming things and going from there. So I just think, you know, to avoid sickness, take better care of yourself. People, you know, they're doing things to their body. Like this is the one thing they can't take away from you. Like they can come, they can repossess your house, they can take your car. Well, if your car paid off, they can't take your car. But you see what I'm saying? Just take more physical, better care of yourself, man. Take care of your skin, all that, man. These are the things that I focus in on. You know, uh, estheticians would tell you, man, this that's what you want to take care of. So you 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 taking care of your physicalness as far as in your look, taking care of the inside of yourself. Like I said, just watch and take care of yourself physically. I care about y'all, but I'm just seeing some things. And, I'm, and, I, and then I know that that's why y'all sick a lot of lately, because you're just not doing the proper care to yourself. Put you first when it comes to that. Topic two, my belief, no job is forever. I never believed in uh, job security. Well, I shouldn't say it. It's been a long time since I believed in I, I think I believed in when I was younger, more naive and things like that. But no job, no job is forever, in my opinion. I just think we always got to continue to work to be better. You know, you're in a place, you've been there a while. Um, I, I just don't think it's forever, especially in this generation. There used to be jobs where people would be there long term, 30, 40 years. That rarely happens now. I think, plus, if you're always fighting to be better, there's always a cap out at where you're at. So you, you always want to keep fighting to do more, when, especially when it comes to the money part. I mean, we don't work for free here. So me, I when it comes to my job, I'm there. But, you know, I'm always, I am looking for a more lucrative opportunity, a better position. Uh, sometimes you got to sacrifice a little time. The hours for me is the greatest of my day job right now. But when it comes to the money, sometimes I'm not the biggest fan of the money. I want more. I want more. But that's just me because I'm always th- striving to get more. So no job is forever. I remember being at a place where, you know, I was like, oh, I give them 30 years. There's no way I could have did that. I hated one of the worst jobs. It just sounded good because that's the way we grew up, stayed for somewhere forever. But I, I will say my movement over the last few years has been up, more pay, um, but, you know, hours matter, what's best for the kid right now, hours and what's best for the kid, and consistency. I will say my day job is very consistent. It is consistent and that I can appreciate. But as you know, when my kid gets older and I can change shifts up a little bit for more pay and things like that, that will be something I look into. Topic three. No one makes you choose to be mad. Or I should say, no one makes you mad. You choose to be mad. Remember, you got to take your power back. Do not let people get you in a stage, get you um, vulnerable of of. Of just snapping off and exploding. I had this issue a few months back uh, with my bouncing job where I, I I kept out of like two out of three months I exploded. You know what I'm saying? I, I just exploded. So I allowed people to get me mad. I couldn't understand what it was. Come to find out, I needed a mini break. I needed to um, get off that, get out of that life a little bit because I had been working nonstop. So again, the whole point of this topic is to let you understand. You choose to be mad. Do not let somebody's words and things like if you know. Don't let those type of things people pick with you. Don't let that make you mad. Address them. Talk to them like a dose or whatever it is. But 
Don't let them to get you mad and get you out of your your um, mental state of uh, serenity and positivity. Because people will try that because they're miserable about what's going on with themselves. Again, you choose to be mad. They're not making you mad. So take your power back and say, no, nah, I'm good. I'm not going to let what you said or what you did affect me. We'll, we'll figure it out and mess, you know, you see what I'm saying? Take your power back. So topic four. You know, sometimes being different. You know, sometimes being different, it, it's tough, man. You uh, you know, I I do some things, and it's a little different. Like my diet, my daily diet. Most people where I'm at don't do a daily diet, you know, uh, at my job or whatever. And sometimes I just want to do what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? I, sometimes I get tired of uh, all these hardness, the strictness of it. I will say, you know, my diet this week has been kind of crazy. Um, I haven't been off it really. It's just it, my body hasn't really responded the way it normally responds. So, just being all transparent and honest this week, I just, you know, it's tough. I want to just fit in, just eat whatever I want to eat. Just it, it, a pizza sounds nice today. A nice big pizza. We discuss taking care of better care of your body. So sometimes just being different. Sometimes I just want to fit in. You know, where nobody's questioning me eating uh, uh, vegetables and chicken all the time. Like. I just, you know, sometimes I just want to be um, part of the crowd and stuff like that and, and not be looked at as so different, you know, but that's not what my, my goal of life, that's not what my purpose is. So I keep pushing for, for, and it might be different than most, but it is what it is. I'm not saying I'm no any special. I know the people who do things that you're like, man, dang, I can't believe they do that. So, you know, it's just making sure you understand that like being different is hard work sometimes. And when I say you're not necessarily be contrarian all the time. It's just, you do things, you live by a schedule. Like I live by a schedule. I wish I could sleep in a little bit more, get up at the last minute. I don't do that. Sometimes it gets tough getting out of bed. This is one of those days I have to admit to y'all. I am exhausted a little bit this morning. Don't know why. Went to bed slightly early, was not up, had a good diet, didn't understand what's going on. Something's just off track. But I'm going to keep pushing because I know tomorrow normally is a better day after I have a day like this. Topic five. Look, this I posted yesterday. At what age? So it said um, it was a meme. It was like um, a man doesn't emotionally mature until 43. And I, and I, and I dispute that because I'm like, wait, I think I turned the corner around, I would say 32 for me. So this is like almost two years ago. Well, I turned to current it emotionally. And a lot of women jumped on there and was like, no, nah, that sounded about right and forth. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. That's that's not true. So I don't know if it's a subjective thing, general masses, or whatever. But um, I would say it's possible, especially for us men, that it's around the 30s. Um, they said, um, this is a fact, actually. They said your brain doesn't fully develop until 27. So I would say give a man a few years after that because I think, uh, you got to go through some stuff. I feel like you do got to go through a heartbreak or something like that to understand like things like infidelity. Like that was one of my main issues as we discuss all the time from the, um, from the show. That's one of my main issues when I was younger, but in the same token, I had to be hurt. I got hurt. Uh, after I divorced, I met someone who did the same thing to me. Uh, but the ex-wife kind of, you know, she did the same thing at the end of me too. So, you know, not knocking either one of them, just saying like, I had to be hurt to understand what it's like to cheat on somebody. I had to understand that, you know, life isn't like just my way or the, you know, my, my way or the highway. But, but also I had to get a conscience. So again, most guys I talk to this around early thirties, we, we realize like, man, we're hurting people. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Like, you don't want, I don't want to hurt my lady. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I really generally care how she feels about things. You know what I'm saying? But I just think, I don't think it's forties though. I just think, you know, around the early thirties, you kind of emotionally get it and understand, you know, what a woman needs. Cause that's what it, that's what it's about. It's like, what, what does a woman need emotionally? So anyway. Thanks for listening to the show. It's Better Than Yesterday podcast. Um, again, we watch it on YouTube as well. Um, it is uh, Thursday, March 12th, episode 145. Thanks for bearing with me today. I told you I ain't, ain't in my best spot. I, I just feel like I'm a little tired today. I feel like the content was great, but um, uh, we're going to keep pushing through as we do every day. Uh, Better Than Yesterday is a lesson learned for today. Again, uh, you know what I always say, go attack them goals.